my name is Sikwin. Hi, my name is Samaya. What's up? I'm Kiana. And we are Brooklyn Fitness, and today we're going to be doing a program on basketball. Woo! <laughs> to perform the jump squat, first you start shoulder width. Inhale and exhale to stabilize core. Create a knee flexion and hip flexion by going down. As you go down, load from the ground and explode up swinging the arm, extending from both the hip and the knee. Make sure to absorb the impact of the ground when landing. This is done in the sagittal plate and targets the quads, the glutes, the hamstring, and the calf. The second exercise we have is a split squat. To perform this exercise, you stand in a split stance. Have both hands at the side. Inhale and exhale to engage core. Ensure that the back leg is dorsiflexed and the front leg is straightened. Bend the back leg going down, creating flexion in the knee. Push up using the front foot. This exercise targets the hamstring, calves, and the glutes, also the quads. When performing this exercise, make sure that your hip is aligned with your head and make sure that your torso is not too far front and not too far back. Ensure that it's at neutral position. This is done in a sagittal plane. The third exercise we have is a kettlebell with deadlift. Stand shoulder width, engage core by inhaling and exhaling for stability. Have slight flexion in the knee. Push hips back, creating a hip hinge. While doing this, bring the kettlebell down slowly, ensuring that it stays close to the body. When the kettlebell is at the knee, create a hip thrust using your glutes. Try not to hyperextend whenever you do the hip thrusting. This exercise focuses on the hamstring and glutes and is done in the sagittal plane. The fourth exercise we have is the bent over row. To perform this exercise, you place one foot on top of the chair while the other one is on the floor. Place a hand on the chair for support while the other one is holding the kettlebell. Inhale and exhale to stabilize core and then retract scapula. Pull the kettlebell up creating flexion in the elbow. Ensure the head is at neutral spine and the hip. This exercise is performed in the sagittal plane and it targets your deltoids, your scapula, your infraspinatus, your supraspinatus, and also your triceps. The fifth exercise we have is the resistance band corkscrew pull. To create a lateral stance, inhale and exhale to engage core. Use both hands to hold the resistance band. Rotate using the trunk and hand to rotate your body. When coming back, make sure to control the resistance band. This exercise is performed in the transverse plane and targets the deltoids, the infraspinatus, the supraspinatus, the pectoralis minor muscles. The sixth exercise we have is the resistance band windmill. Have a lateral stance. Inhale and exhale to engage core for stability. Use both hands to hold the resistance band. Rotate using the trunk and hands to rotate over the body. When coming back, make sure to control the resistance band with your core. Making This exercise is performed in the transverse plane and it targets the deltoids, the infraspinatus, supraspinatus muscle. Make sure to remember when performing this exercise that your feet are planted firmly on the ground and you are bringing the resistance band over your head. The last exercise we have is the plank. Lay in a prone position, inhale and exhale to engage core. Ensure hands are under shoulders and head are aligned with hip and spine. This exercise is done in the frontal plane and targets the rectus abdominis. The seventh exercise we have is a push up. To perform this exercise, you lay in a prone position. Have both hands placed under the shoulders and feet are dorsiflexing. Inhale and exhale to stabilize core. Flex at the elbow as you come down while inhaling, then exhale pushing back up. Ensure that the head is aligned with the hip. This muscle targets the pectoralis major and the rectus abdominis. To regress this exercise, basically place both knees on the floor and just use your upper body pushing it up and down.
The first conditioning exercise we have is the four cone drill. This exercise works on a basketball player change of direction from attacking to defending. To perform this exercise, you run to the first cone, shuffle to the other cone, and then jog back to the other cone, and then shuffle to the other one, to starting at the beginning all over again. Good. The second exercise for the conditioning program we have is box jumps. Box jumps is a plyometric exercise which works on explosiveness and power. As a basketball player, it's important to be explosive and powerful when getting rebounds, thus making box jumps a good condition exercise to incorporate it within a basketball program. The third exercise we have for the conditioning phase is suicide. Suicide is a great condition exercise for basketball players because it aids in increasing their aerobic capacity. As a basketball player, it's important to have high endurance in order to play longer games. To perform this workout, you sprint from one cone to the other cone as quickly as possible with minimum rest in between. Fourth condition exercise we have is push pass with lateral shuffle. The purpose of this conditioning is to help with passing the ball to your teammates. Both members will stand opposite of each other. From first corner, they will chest pass and then shuffle to the other corner and then they do a bounce pass.